Happy Halloween. All right, great day to be great. I have a Halloween themed website for you and we're gonna learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Got some little animations even here and then I have some links that we could link to some stores to go ahead and buy your costumes or candy. Let's do this. So I'm gonna close this. I can close my old one. And let's start, click by a new, new folder. Halloween. In the description of my video, I have a link that you can download the images that I used. Download those and drop that in your Halloween folder. And then put it into Visual Studio Code. First, Yeah, I haven't checked that much because it hasn't been raining. Okay. Yeah, it hasn't been raining much. It's all good. <laughs> All right, start with an exclamation point and press enter. And this will add the global structure of a web page. Go ahead and put happy Halloween in the title. And if you save that, refresh, and you see that that's what changed right here. Happy Halloween, like the tab of your website. This is a global structure of the head page of, the, of your web page global structure of HTML, the head tags right here, links, any other uh, style sheets that we'll need later, and in the body, this is everything that you want to display on your website. First, we're going to start off with the main, main, meaning really pretty much showing the main content is going to go inside of your main. Now, we're going to start off with an H1. All right, in this H1, we're gonna have Happy Halloween. Boom, and now we've got that on there. Next, we're going to give a paragraph tag, and it's gonna say my, my, my Halloween pics. Boom. And you see how it's much smaller. Boom, boom. All right. Inside here, just for structuring purposes later, we're going to give this a div. And I want you to notice, see, here we got this is considered an open tag, and this is a closing tag. You always want to wrap, like, everything that you want to be applied in this needs to be inside. Every open tag needs a closing tag. So go ahead and take this. Cut it, put it under here, boom. So this is gonna be one section, like our heading section. Just like that. And if you notice what I did right here, how it indents in, this is called nesting. This is the proper way to set up and align your code. It's much makes it much easier to read. All right, div. Boom, closing div. All right, so now under this closing div, we can go ahead and make another one. And this part is where we're gonna now start creating our categories. Go ahead and do one more div. And then 
let's go H2. And in this H2, let's call it my my favorite candies. My favorite candies. Save. H2, as you can see, it's a little bigger than that little paragraph. My favorite candies. Okay. <clears throat> then we're going to create an unordered list. So UL stands for unordered list. And then the list items, LI. And for me, my favorite candies is Reese's. Oops. You can go ahead and copy that. We're going to do the top three for each category. We got Reese's, Mike, and Ike's. Those are great. Um, and then, oh yeah, Snickers. I'd say Snickers. All right, so remember I said this div right here is going to match this last one. But this right here is what I want us to copy. This, uh, this div under it. Go ahead and Command C. Then you can leave some space and then paste it right there. Do it twice. So we got the, our big open div right here. We got our big open div right here, and then we got our sub divs right here. Save. So I got favorite candies, favorite candies, favorite candies. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. So now, after my favorite candies, I want to do my next section. Let's go top costume ideas. Top costume ideas, and then down here can be favorite activities. Top Halloween activities. All right, so let's think about it. Take a second, think about it. Put, I want you to put your ideas. Like, don't just do mine, but these, these are mine. So, costume ideas. Legit, my top one for this year, since he's been a beast. Well, I mean, he's been a beast athlete and is a beast coach. Yeah, that is the one and only Dion. Neon Dion. Dion Sanders. I feel like that'd be a cool costume. Dion Sanders. Uh... Next, next would be, let's go Batman, because Batman is a beast. And then, let's go Spider-Man, just as an example. Boom. All right, and then we got Halloween activities, think about fun things you like doing, like pumpkin, carving, or, oh, maybe watch a scary movie. Scary movies terrify me. Watch a scary movie, and trick-or-treating, got to do that. All right, boom, there you go, there we go. So we got there, we've got the structure in order. Awesome, very good. Now though, I'm also wanting to add a picture, right? 
I'm wanting to add a picture here. So let's do under the UL, so favorite candies, under the UL, go ahead and make a div. And then to add an image, an image is when you don't need a closing tag. You can have an open tag, but you don't need a closing tag. So what this is, is saying the source. So if you remember, we made an images folder. So an images folder, we need to write images with the forward slash. And then inside of this folder, it shows all of our options that we have. So inside of the images folder, we first want to do, uh, what did I say, candy? We're on candy first, so candy. And alt is, stands for alternative text, so we can put candy here. So if the picture ever doesn't load, it would say candy then. Boom, and there's our trick-or-treat picture. Okay, and then we also want to put a button under that a button and inside this button we want it to be a link so that's going to be an a tag that means anchor and for our button we're going to call it we're going to say um, what are we going to say we're going to say buy now or you can write learn more and in here is where we're going to actually put the link. So since I put Reese's, right? All you got to do is go right here. Let's go to Reese's Candy, right? And we can check the website. Boom, there's the website. Go ahead and copy the URL. Copy paste that into the href paste that into the href and then actually after so watch this so if I save this and now see I have my button right here I click my button it sends me to the Reese's page but I would rather you open up a new tab so the way you do is target, and then it's underscore blank. Target underscore blank. So now when I click it, click it, it opens a new tab. So my website's still up. Good. That's a great way to add a link. All right, so add this structure, this div, copy to each of it under the UL, paste, under URL, paste, save, and now you got three pumpkins. But we don't want to keep using the pumpkin for each one. So we can delete this. Forward slash costume, save. You should have your ghost under the images one. And next, for the Halloween activities, go to the image, put the forward slash, and then pumpkins, save. And now the link, all, our link is going all to the Hershey's. So for the costumes, most of you guys are probably going to go to Walmart, right? To get your costume. Boom. Make sure to get the full URL. Copy that. Paste it in here. And then for the pumpkins let's look at local or no 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 pumpkin carving maybe a, a lesson on how to pumpkin carving ideas all right so let's go house beautiful pumpkin carving ideas boom copy you can pick whatever link you want it to link to. It doesn't matter. I'm just showing you how to link it. Paste it. But now, as you can see, I got my Reese's, 
I got my ghost and pumpkin carving ideas. All right, good job. So there, our HTML is complete. All right, so to get some styles going to this website, we need to create a CSS, an external style sheet. So start off by making a new folder, CSS, and then in this new folder, make a new file, style.css. Good. What we need to do in order for our website to work, or for our styles to apply to this, we need to link it. So if you go under title, link, and it's CSS forward slash style.css, and save. Okay. All right. So now, first, first thing I want to do in styles is you're going to want to get a cool font. We have this thing called Google Fonts. This is where you can get any font that you want. I'm going to search for Creepster right here. And this is like the Halloween themed font. If you go ahead and press this plus sign and then go to the import. And you see how it has those style tags? You don't need those. Just get the import and copy. Okay. And now in our style.css, go ahead and paste that at the top. Very good. Make sure you got import, and this is underlined, and you're done with the semicolon. All right, now we can keep that small just for a second. And then over here, let's go asterisk, curly brace, boom. We want to start off with a basic margin at zero, padding zero, box sizing, border box, and then now to fully add the font is we need to go font family and we have creep stir comma and then this and if we check see how there's that white dot we need to make sure to save it save it over here and now I got my font in there all right very nice. So that's the beginning of styling. Okay. Next. In the body. So remember we had this right here. Our body. Okay. We can target it. This is called a type selector. Body. Curly braces. And we're going to put a background image. Background image. And we're going to go URL. Forward slash. Images and our background. This background image is going to be Halloween themed. Boom. Right there. If you notice, you see how it's repeat? it repeats? Backgrounds will do that by default. So what we need to do is background repeat, no repeat. Pretty simple enough. But now I got some white space. 
what I need to do then is background size cover. So now the background's full. But now it doesn't grasp my whole picture of my background, right? So what I need to do for that is cover and to get it stuck in there is background attach fixed there and now the words will flow over it see that good okay now I got my header I don't really have a cool looking header right now <clears throat> let me widen this a bit so what I need to do is style my headers this right here oops heading styles this right here is me adding a comment so that I can keep my styles organized of where things are at so I'm going to style this h1 first so if I go h1 curly braces I want to do display flex justify content center put it in the middle of the page align items center and then let's go margin so at the top it's going to be 50 px right and left is zero and then five px at the bottom boom i see how it dropped down a little bit and then i want to make it a lot bigger so i'm going to give it a font size of 100 px boom happy halloween <clears throat> next This paragraph right here, I'm going to style that by just typing P, curly brace, right there. And I can copy all of this. I'm going to give it the same styles. Not the margin part, though. And I'm going to change the font size so that it's a little different to 40 px. But now I got that in the middle, this in the middle. Now though, you see how my this it's like overlapping with my background image. I want to bring that down a little bit. So what I can do, so you see how I wrapped everything inside of the main. Let's do that. Let's go. Let's target our main. Okay. Targeting our main, we're going to go margin 250px on top and bottom and zero. Boom. So then that dropped this guy down nicely okay looking good looking good all right let's keep going so here we got this is our header styles you can go ahead and copy this now i want to start styling our categories so i'm going to put the Category styles. 
So now with the categories, we, it's a little bit more dynamic. So we gotta be more specific on how we are going to target and style our different elements that we have on the page. Okay? So, in this first top div under our heading area, we can even comment this out. In HTML, comments are like this. Head, header, and then I can go right here. Categories. So right under this category tag, in this div, I want to give it a class. Equals, class equals container. So since I gave that a container, what I'm going to do with this container, this is how I'm going to style it. Copy, style. Because it's a class, you have to give it a dot and container. And now curly braces. In here, we're going to do, again, display, flex. See, now that I put display flex, I have my categories. There's right here, here, and here. They're all side by side, which is great. What we want to do, though, is flex, wrap, wrap. So what ends up happening is if it cuts off, then they, they, they stack up on top of each other. OK? And then justify content. Space between. There you go. And now we're going to organize this. It's going to be margin zero and auto. Zero top and bottom. Auto right and left. And then align items center. And then, just want the max width, though, to be 1200px. Sweet. 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 All right. So right there, we're looking here. So we still got a lot of organizing to do. OK. Next, I need to be a little bit more specific so that I'm styling each category. So what I'll do here is back in my HTML in this top div of each category. Go and give it a class equals category. And we can copy that. Copy, paste, Paste. Okay? So category is on top of each of my categories. Let me slide this back over for you guys so you can see. I'm back on my CSS. So now I'll go category, right? This is how I'm targeting it. And now let's go flex. One, margin 10 px, very good, padding 20 px, there you go, and now we're going to add um, you know what, really quick, just so you're able to see the styling, um, 
before I continue with that, go ahead and go under here, like this, copy category, and then IMG. This is a way that we can target the picture right away. And I want to make this picture a little smaller so that you can see what we're working with. Let's go 200 px. See that? There you go. All right. Now we can. Now our website will look cool as we're as we're creating it. All right. Okay. So now back to this category. Uh, I'm going to give a background for each of them, kind of like a transparent background. So let's go background color. And RGB. RGB. And we're going to go to 55. 255. 255. And then comma. Nope. Comma. 0.8. Save that. All right, so now we have, as you can see, we have some spacing in here. We know what we're looking at now. Okay, now let's give that a, a box shadow. Box shadow, zero, zero, 10 PX, RGB, zero, comma, zero, comma, zero, comma, 0.2, boom, all right, and then to get the words in the middle, center, we'll go text, align, center, boom, all right, and then see how those rigid edges, to get those off, you go border, radius, and that is 10px. Save. And in order for anything to be updated, remember, you got to be saving it. And that's what I've been doing every time I change something. <clears throat> By pivoting command S. All right. So now, copying category, copy that, paste, and now I'm going to focus on the H2 inside of the category. Just to show you where that's at. Category, H2. So I'm focusing on this title right now. Category H2. Let's increase the font size. Font size. 25px. Save. Very nice. Again, see how these dots are right here? I don't want those. Those don't look cool. So I'm going to copy this category, LI, curly braces, and then list style. None. Save. And now you got those dots. Those are gone. Very good. Okay, nice work, nice work. We already styled our image, making it 200px, which is awesome. <clears throat> uh, but now let's actually be more specific. So let's go and comment it out. Image, styles. So my image styles, I started with that. And then we can go IMG just to simply target the image. And we're gonna add some animation to it. Animation to it, okay? So for the IMG, I want you to put transition and then scale.
Transition, oh, sorry, wrong word. Transition, yes. And then, transform, 0 0.5 seconds. And then, with ease, with ease. All right, so now though, I'm gonna make give it the pseudo class. That's the colon and hover and curl of grace. So now we're gonna go transform. Transform, there you go. And this is where we put scale. And let's go 1.2. And I want it to rotate. 30 degrees, save. All right, so now, with it saved, and I hover over it, as you can see, it rotates. And you can play around with that all you want. This will make it bigger. Put a five. And now, look at that, it goes jumbo. Whoa, jumbo. Put that back. This could get it to rotate. Let's go, let's say a 360. Put that back to 30. And then this is the speed. So the lower it is, the faster it'll go, the higher it is, the longer it'll take. Like how long it takes. So if I do one, like, you no, know, that would be a minute then. So if I do, if I do 30. Right, 30 seconds. If I add a one here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's one second. That's one and a half seconds. So I just want it to be half a second. Okay, I had it. But if you want to adjust it, you can. No problem. And then. Let's organize this image to the button situation because I want the button to actually go under the image. <clears throat> so to target that, we need to, on top of our button, see how I gave it, gave a div right here? Give that a class equals button dash and dash image. All right, go ahead and copy that. Copy, paste, paste. This might be a little easier to show you if I show you the whole HTML. So it's on, it's on top of that div on top of the button and image. Right here, image button, image button. And save that. All right, so now, the way to target that is dot button dash and dash image curly braces. <clears throat> All right, so let's go display flex. Now they're side by side, but I want to do, I want to change the flex direction. To be column, I want it to go up and down like that. So it's just stacked. And then Let's align these items to be centered. So now they're on top of each other. Very good. And we can uh, text align center. Say, all right. Woo! We're doing good. Keep it up. Keep it up. It's looking nice.
Now though, one last thing to style is this button. That doesn't look that cool, but we got these looking fresh. Now let's clean up our button. So we can, uh, let's organize that right here. Copy, paste, and let's go button styles. And so we're going to save that and we can go back to our HTML and in our HTML each button I want you to give a class and call it my dash button and save. So go ahead and grab this. Let's copy it. Copy in, in each button tag. Paste that class right there. Save. Awesome. We can copy this, my button. Go right here. And so now let's target the my button. And uh, do 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 do. To target the class, we have to put the period and curly braces and enter. And so now let's go background color and let's go hashtag F8822 B. That's a nice Halloween color. Got it orange back there. Okay. I want the words to be white so you do hashtag FFF -F -F. but as you can see as you can see we've already clicked it so that's why it's shown like it's visited it's not showing white but they're gonna be white don't worry I will show you what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna what I'm gonna, gonna do all right, so first, let's make this a little bigger. Padding. Padding is 10 px, top and bottom, 20 px, right on the sides. Gotta open that up. Next, border, none, don't need no border. And see how it's rigid. So do you remember what we did last time? Border radius. Let's go 5. PX. Rounded it off. Let's go cursor. Pointer. So that now instead of the arrow, you have a little Mickey Mouse hand. There you go. Make it a little bigger with the font size. 16 px. There you go. And then margin top 20 px and save. So now we got some space. So now that, because that's showing it's a link, that's why there's that line there. I'm going to show you how to fix that right here, copy this to my button, space A, remember that was the anchor, and now let's go text, decoration, none, save that, boof, and color white, this is what we'll change the color, boom, now we got it white. Okay, now, again, let's add a pseudo class to this. Paste. If I hover over it, curly brace. Um, I'm going to do this. Background color, I'm going to change the background color a bit to hashtag 
F one seven C two eight save just show it shows like a little tint. See a little tint? A little pop helps people buy what you want. Okay, good. What do you think? I think it looks good. Ta da! All right, so in here, our links already work, but our website looks nice. Now, the one thing that you always want to finish your website with, though, is like, look if I get super small, and it gets kind of jumbled up. So it's a, it's a really quick fix. Sometimes the task could be daunting, but let's do this. You just do this at media screen. This is called a media query of what we're, what we're creating. And this will allow your website to look nice, even if it's on a phone, like if it's on a small screen. So max. Width, boom, I'm going to do two, zero, six, one, two, zero, six, P, X, and then let's go current braces here, and all we're really needing to add is, um, you take the container right here, this, no, no, right here, this, copy, paste it down here so that all this is saying uh, we can actually delete all this all this is saying is that these are the styles I want to be applied when we're in a smaller screen flex direction column like that so if we're in a smaller screen now it's going to be top and bottom and text align center that's it that's it so now let me let me move this away and you can see your website full screen boom and then if you go on a smaller screen boom your website adjusts all right hope you had fun i hope this was a fun activity yes enjoy create make mistakes be awesome peace